So the first takeaway is, is just the enormity of the cut that we have in personal income tax rates going down from two and a half lakhs to a full five lakh complete rebate on income. Now the way that works is essentially even if you have income going all the way up to six or six and a half lakhs, because you have to calculate the rebate after claiming deductions that are normally available to you, such as income uh, which is not taxable, interest that has been paid on housing loans or uh, interest that comes from banks where there are already exemptions. It's the net income that qualifies for the rebate and effectively what that means is up to six and a half lakhs of uh, income, you could end up in a situation where you just don't pay tax. Now, this is a humongous tax rate cut. It means there'll be people who will have more money to put back into the pockets. Either they will send it, spend it on consumer goods or they will spend it on investments. And in either case, it's good news for the Indian economy. The second area I'd really like to talk about is some of the announcements that have come around real estate. So there are announcements around smaller things like the rollover. So a rollover is when you sell a property and you invest in a new property and you claim an exemption. Uh, the current law as it stands today was that it was only available for a single property. They've extended it to two properties. The limit for withholding tax on rental income has gone up. They've increased the amount of exemption that's available on income from house property. So earlier, uh, there was an automatic deeming provision which captured income if you had a second property, even if you earned rent or you did not earn rent. That's now been extended to two properties under certain circumstances. They, uh, FM also actually made a veiled announcement uh, around uh, the GST committee examining the impact of GST on uh, housing sales. Again, a big area of focus because if somehow the rate of GST comes down on new housing properties, uh, again, that's a benefit for the consumer. So that's, uh, uh, I think, another big benefit, clearly aimed at the housing sector and in the affordable segment. There's also a deduction under ATIAB of the Income Tax Act that was available for builders that created affordable housing and the profits on that were exempt. The section actually came to an end on March 2019. That's been extended by one year. So from what I can see, there are quite a few benefits for the real estate sector. The last area I'd really like to talk about is around creating jobs uh, in India. And I felt that to some extent the finance minister was a bit defensive because at every few instances he would make veiled references that this will also add to jobs being created in India. What I'd really like to have seen is a bigger announcement around a bigger manufacturing policy, uh, increase in investment because finally it is manufacturing blue collar jobs that's going to really aid uh, growing the job market in India. So I would have liked to see something more on that front.